One day, you probably saw a scene from a movie, series, or documentary featuring an Eskimo wearing fur and heavy clothing, standing in front of a fully built igloo made of snow. One of the common questions that comes to mind when people see this scene is how anyone can live inside a house made of snow. In polar regions, the weather is cold and snow is also cold. We build houses made of snow to stay warm inside. Initially, this may seem completely illogical, but in reality, it is very logical and normal. These snow houses are not just in cartoons. They actually exist, and Eskimo people, who live in polar regions, have been building them for a long time. Welcome to this episode of Curious Queries, where we will answer the question of how an igloo, which is made of snow, can be warm from the inside. But before we begin, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive our videos first. The Arctic region is one of the most extreme environments on Earth, stretching from the coast of North America to the northeastern part of Siberia. Despite the extreme cold and harsh weather conditions in this area, a resilient people have managed to live here for thousands of years. These people are the Eskimos, who inhabit the Arctic regions and have fully adapted to the lifestyle there. They do not want to move away from the place they call home, despite the lack of cities, facilities, or any signs of civilization. All they have is snow and a very harsh way of life. First, let's mention something incidental. The Eskimos do not like this name. If you call them Eskimos, they will be very offended. The term Eskimo is derived from a term used to refer to strangers or people who speak a different language. It is also used for people who eat raw meat, but they prefer to be called Inuit, which means the people in their language. Eskimos lives in icy areas where temperatures can reach 50 degrees Celsius below zero in winter. Anyone living in such a cold environment needs to find shelter and a safe house to live in, whether it's made of stone, metal, or even wood. Unfortunately, in this area, none of these resources are available, not even trees or forests, which are almost non-existent. That's why the people living in this area learn to build houses with the only thing available to them, which is snow. For thousands of years, the Eskimo people have relied on building dome-shaped snow huts called igloos. Now the question is, how can these snow houses keep them warm? Physically, snow can actually keep you warm and retain your body heat. To understand this strange phenomenon, let me tell you a story about a marine mammal called the bearded seal. This animal feeds on fish and other sea creatures, so it has to live in cold water. However, it doesn't have a thick layer of skin or blubber to protect it from the cold. So how does it stay warm? It uses a very strange thing, air molecules. The bearded seal has dense and soft fur, and the secret to its warmth lies in the structure of its fur from the inside. The fur is finely tapered in a way that can trap air molecules inside it. At the same time, air is an excellent insulator, and the trapped air inside the fur prevents heat from escaping easily. As a result, the bearded seal can withstand very low temperatures without feeling cold. Now, I understand that you may be wondering what this has to do with the topic at hand. Simply put, what we want to say is that air is a good insulator of heat. If we find a type of snow that contains a suitable amount of air particles within it, it would be perfect for building structures. And here, we arrive at the Eskimos field of expertise, snow. The Eskimos have vast knowledge of snow and its different types and characteristics. If you ask them about the types of snow, they will amaze you with a variety of words and terms they use to describe it. Each type of snow is uniquely crafted with various attributes that they have mastered over time. One such type they call hard-packed powdery snow. It consists of 10% frozen water and 90% air, forming layers on the ground in icy regions. This type of snow is ideal for construction because it is both sturdy and contains a high amount of air. This type is very suitable for the construction process. Firstly, because it is solid and durable. Secondly, 
because it contains a high percentage of air, and since air is an excellent insulator as we mentioned before, this type of snow is suitable for insulating the building from the inside. That's why an Eskimo or igloo hut maintains the temperature inside and does not allow it to escape outside through the walls, similar to a thermal flask, which is exactly what is desired in the heating process. It is worth mentioning that the bottom of the igloo is not a flat surface, but the interior space is excavated and consists of several levels. And as we mentioned earlier, air is an excellent insulator. To build their homes, the Eskimos construct dome-shaped snow huts known as igloos. These igloos are carefully designed to provide insulation and retain heat effectively. The design includes multiple levels, with the entrance lower than the rest, where they can light a fire or perform tasks like cooking. The upper level serves as the sleeping area. The spiral design and the domed exterior of the igloo make it structurally stable, resisting strong winds and storms. The absence of sharp edges or vulnerable spaces ensures maximum heat retention inside the igloo. Thus, all these elements combined create a warm and cozy environment inside the igloo. The temperature inside drops to 10 or 15 degrees Celsius. If you think the temperature is still low, you should know that the outside temperature reaches minus 50 degrees Celsius. An experienced Eskimo can build a small hut by themselves in about three hours. However, building larger huts that can accommodate many people, like a whole family, takes two days or more. Despite advancements in construction methods and modern architecture, no one has discovered a better way to build an igloo than the Eskimos' traditional method. The spiral design and dome structure distribute vertical loads and forces and convert them into horizontal forces that stabilize the igloo. This remarkable knowledge and experience make the Eskimos igloo a resilient and warm dwelling. This was the first episode on the Curious Queries channel. In this channel, we answer questions that may come to your mind while lying in bed at night and unable to sleep. So, if you have a question that puzzles you during the night, write it in the comments below the video and we'll answer it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, remember to click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell to receive our videos as soon as they're released. See you in the next episode. Take care.